something wrong with my panel. It's things like going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. When we left uh, Renton, it was of course the first time I didn't put this uh, thing on uh, to video it. It was getting all these errors with descents and which would give train error and all that kind of stuff. This thing's rock stable. And the uh, headings on this are not going back and forth. So I'm not sure. I don't have any idea what's going on with that thing. Go direct to Friday Harbor and see what happens with the nav. Still heading uh, perfectly fine, but my map is walking back and forth. Let's see if this map's walking back and forth too. Yep. The same. Like there's probably a setting that does stop moving the map around. Look at this. What am I looking at? That one's... Moving too? That one's going back and forth too. That's the weirdest thing. Turn this off. This one is paired to these, so it's using the same GPS data. Now this one's dead on straight as I disconnected it from the panel so it's doing its own little thing and this is still going back and forth is the problem right here. GPS 3D degraded. What's that mean? It's not getting a good GPS signal. Okay. I was trying to find that. Okay. It can be bumpy.
sun around here. <laughs> there is some sun. <clears throat> okay. Not too bad. Okay, degraded GPS. What you do about that? But to, where does the GPS come in? Well, there's an antenna on the top of the roof. And um, if we can look at the GPS on this thing. GPS status. That's what it's supposed to look like. Nice and green. This one's like. Bah, 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 bah. Now it says it's using the external GPS navigator p position, which is good. Now it's probably Part of fixed. Traffic station two zero eight, which about right base one six, Friday. Because it lost its own completely, so it's using the external one, which is this one. Yesterday, I had the interesting flight up to Friday Harbor, where the moving map was wobbly and um, lost the GPS on the G3X. And I went home and I reviewed the video that I had, which was really helpful because it gave me some time to reflect and see for sure what I was remembering. And then I was thinking about the system and I remembered where the VFR GPS antenna was for the G3X and um, that it was a separate one. I knew, I thought it was separate, but then of course I remembered where it was. And then I realized why the whole thing probably happened. So I came back today to uh, update the databases and also test my theory on why I lost the GPS yesterday. And it's going to be one of those stupid, obvious things. So we're going to look at the GPS 3D location. So today it works, um, which is interesting. Um, but we'll see if it stays that way. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the GDL 51. Um, I've had the GDL 51, which is the XM uh, radio receiver that gives me data for weather in here uh, for quite a while. And uh, I've always had it up where it is and um, never been a problem before. It's bounced around in turbulence, but it's always been great. Um, and I've never really thought about interference between it and the uh, location of the VFR GPS antenna. But it turns out the VFR GPS antenna is right behind there. And this thing has been moving backwards. Usually I have it sitting up there a little bit, but it turns out that is the GPS antenna. So it was kind of sitting there and it's not on it, but it's fairly close. So I'm gonna move it a little bit closer to it and see what happens to my GPS location. Definitely not as good, but still not terrible. So perhaps my theory on why that didn't work yesterday was wrong. 
I mean, I got this thing right on top. Put it right on top of it and see what happens. Okay, that's not good. So it was degraded and then it went to 3D differential and I do not have the GTN on. I do have the secondary G3X on, but it's going to be working on the same antenna. I'm pretty sure of that. So that's very interesting. That's with this thing sitting right on top of the antenna, even turned on. So I moved this thing around and tried to get it to interfere and briefly got the degra degradation of the GPS signal, but it's amazingly robust. I think the bottom line is that it must have been in just a perfect place to be interfering with the GPS signal. And um, I took a test flight after this and nothing happened. It had been a long time since I had read the G3X manual, and I realized that I was struggling to find the GPS um, signal on it because usually you kind of go into the menus and do it, but it's one of the tabs along the bottom. So I think that was another important thing for me to learn that I need to reread that book.